And then I did another thing. As promised, here's part two of my art journal that I've been working on these last few weeks. This part is all about the sketchbook revival series of workshops that I took recently, and I hope you enjoy. This was Sketchbook Revival. This one was led by a woman named Karen Oppend, and here's the portrait I did for her. Nisha Morani led a session on loose watercolor florals, and I had a page here that had some loose watercolor floral samples from my watercolor painting class, so it got some more flowers added to it in her portrait. Sherry Blaukoff did a really great session, and I chose to, to do a sketch of what I could see on my screen. And, and this is Kyla Givehand, who led us through the creation of the book. It's an accordion book with signatures. Another early session was T Tina Mundulsi, who talked about motivation and creating art. This session was one that Karen Aban led, which was around, first of all, drawing from life. I chose to draw some leftover balls of yarn and then abstracting those shapes. It was kind of a challenge for me, but I think I came up with some interesting shapes. And then that led to this. This session was led by Danny Gregory. So as you can see, his portrait is less refined than the others because it was the very first one that I did. We did this thing called a art supply relay. I ended up with this very colorful pair of scissors. This one by a session by Karen Stamper. I really enjoy this little accordion book that she did using cutouts and masks. This fellow, John Muir Laws, did an excellent, excellent session that he called This Is Your Brain on Paper. This session was around making marks with ink and I used some colorful inks that I bought in Versailles and was around making marks inspired by nature and I used a feather to make some of these marks and some of them I used a glass pen that I bought in Tokyo. Carla Sondheim. This was a very fun activity and it's I've created a few different pieces of art that were inspired by the by the activity that she did. She called it a one-liner. This has really been inspiring for me, Estée McLeod. This one was very fun too. So these marks are all made with the toilet paper roll. And this, this I've done a lot with this. I've made artist trading cards that you might have seen if you watched the last video. And then there's Mady Rose McDonough. Uh, as you can see, I took the rainbow very much to heart. The next one, Robin McClendon, talked about altered books and made a pocket. And I made a pocket here to remind me of some of the free giveaways that the different presenters were, were offering. Amy Miracle did kind of a meditative art activity around creating circles, she calls them holes and it really was quite quite relaxing and meditating. This was lovely. Noorpur Thakur, who did a session around rendering fabrics, and this took me right back to when I was a design student and creating these cute little outfits. Sarah Matthews talked about block printing, and I didn't exactly follow her, her suggestion, and I made some blocks using bubble wrap and some corrugated cardboard, and here's the caption that was inspired by Carla Sondheim's activity. The next session was Shelley Clammer. And Shelley is somebody I've, I've actually met. She was one of the original founders of the Magpie's Nest community art space. Her session was around automatic drawing, which was uh, something that the surrealists and the spiritualists of the mid 20th century were were known for just sort of drawing without any planning or intent. Very, very fun and interesting way to present perspective and not something that I've thought about before. Tamara Laporte did a session to create this whimsical owl and she has a very distinctive style of art making. She creates a lot of these whimsical animals. And this session was really interesting. Sarah Simons led this water, simple watercolor wreath. So it was very, 
restful to create in this very simple palette. Very fun. Created some blobs, turned them into characters. I did it two ways. Fun. That was Alexandra Gabor. Jessica Swift did a session on lettering. And Tracy Bautista also did a session, which, but I really kind of liked the way that she used uh, an angled brush to create these kind of feathery leaf shapes. So I recreated that. This one was great. This session by Helen Hallows, really interesting. I liked that one a lot. This one was, and this one was really cool too. What was her name? Her name is Jeannie Oliver. Fun session. Uh, here's another page. And Susan Chang did a session on watercolor pairs. Oh, I missed one. Tripti Corgini did a, a landscape, watercolor landscape. And this is not a landscape that I we ever see here locally in Vancouver. So it was really kind of out of my comfort zone. When I do landscape, watercolors, they usually have mountains in the background. So Deb Potnoy did a very kind of intuitive kind of mark making activity that was really fun. Enjoyed it. And lastly, we have this lesson in perspective. Now he went well beyond this basic perspective and did a, a fisheye perspective drawing off a kitchen, which I decided not to do. And that's it.